a millionaire with $5 a day? Guys, welcome to the Independent Investor Channel. My name is Ryan. I'm coming to you directly from New York City, New York, the Big Apple. It's so good to be with you. I see this video all the time online. It's somewhat entertaining to me. You know, I, I kind of feel like I should put out this video kind of as the magician, but as the magician that's actually going to give you uh, the behind scenes look at why it is this works. Okay. Now, $5 a day can make you a millionaire. Okay. That's a fact. And a lot of what I talk about, I've done videos on the power of compounding interest and how over the course of an investor's time horizon, it can actually compound and get you into a seven figure retirement guys that there's nothing magic about that. That's just mathematics. I leave the uh, compounding interest calculator um, within every one of my videos. And if you're curious, spend five minutes going on there. And the one I leave is the one that allows you to do compounding interest going forward. But more importantly, it allows you to take the anticipated fees and attach those to those accounts and actually compare the difference. Uh, of what the fees make in those accounts over the long horizon. All right. So this is how to become a millionaire with $5 a day. Okay. Now I'm just going to let you in on a really interesting secret. Okay. If you gave up your latte at $5 a day, you'd have your $5 to put toward becoming a millionaire. Okay. And that's really part of the sell on this whole how to become a millionaire within $5 is where in your budget could you find $5 a day, okay? More realistically, when we apply this to the compounding interest calculator that I provide for you guys, $5 a day is $150 a month, okay? If you take $150 a month and you religiously invest that every month and you do that year over year for 50 years, Okay, you invest it for 50 years and you get an 8% rate of return and you do not start with one single dollar in that account. You just start doing the $5 a day, $150 a month, every single month for 50 years. Okay, that's going to render you in this account $1,077,000 in this account. You've made a million. Okay. You're a millionaire and you've done it with $5 a day. Congratulations. A lot of the prestige and a lot of compounding gets used. We talk about the rule of 72 as well, really to get people excited about the idea of compounding. Okay. Now remember the $1,077,000. Okay. You've got initial contributions or real dollar contributions in this scenario of around $80,000. That's it. 80 grand is what you've put into this over the course of that 50 years. All right. Another 180,000 is going to come in the form of simple interest. All right. And the remaining $800,000 is going to be what we refer to all the time is compounding interest. $800,000 basically of free money. Okay. Amazing. People watch these videos and they get fired up and they're going to make seven figures and oh my God, here's my blueprint, right? If I do this and I walk this path, all I've got to do is do this $5 a day and I'm going to become a millionaire in theory. Yes. I remember how I talked about me being the magician. I'm going to give you a little bit of insight on why this scenario does work and at the same time why it doesn't work. Okay, here it is. A lot of people get so excited about the market or they watch the news day in and day out and they get excited. The problem with becoming excited about the market is if you invest correctly, it's really not exciting at all. It's, it's, it's freaking boring. Okay. But people want to talk about Facebook going up over the last week, $25 and, and that's great. I've invested in Facebook ever since it's come public and I've made a lot of money on it. It's very, very easy to get wrapped up in, you know, the glitz and the glamour of the market and lose track of why in fact we do what it is we do now 
and make the right decisions now, full well knowing that those decisions that we make now will impact our investment dollars going forward. Okay, that's just how it works. And I think a lot of people, they look at this and they're 18, 19, 20 years old. And if you're 18, 19, 20, in your 20s, listen up, guys. You get way too excited about the market. And the first thing that you want to do is you want to take that smartphone that you've just got and you want to download Robinhood on there or you want to download Stash because you save $5 on the transaction fee and you're going to start to become a trader, okay? Because you, you can do this, right? You can put yourself on a blueprint to do 150. Some of you guys are making killer money and you want to get involved in the market and you start that Robinhood account. Here's the secret, okay? On paper and with the compounding calculator, this $5 a day works. It works. It doesn't, however, work in a Robinhood account. It does not work if you end up going to any of your financial institutions out there and sign up with them to have them manage your investment accounts for you, okay? Now, they're going to use this compounding interest theory to get you in the door because they're going to get you all excited about an anticipated rate of return on their flagship funds being, let's say, 10, 11, 12 percent. You say, well, look, we're, we're outpacing this 8% to 8% rate of return. And what they're going to sneak in there at some point is they're going to tell you that they're going to take 2 or 3% management fee over the course of an investment career. Okay? All you've got to do is just go with them, put your money with them, put your $150 a month away, and forget about it. That's exactly what they want you to do, guys. That's exactly what they want you to do. All right? Now, remember when I talked about the $1,077,000 in a managed account? It goes to $400,000. $400,000. And here's why. Over the course of this 50-year cycle, they're going to be charging you management fees, transaction fees, hidden fees, they're going to be charging you fees in excess of the small little bitty 2 to 3% that they promised you when you initially came in the door and you were really excited about investing, right? It's just something that you got to do. Everybody else is doing it, right? So you got to do it. And the 2%, you overlook it. It's no big deal. 50 years down the line, that's when those fees rear its ugly head because your account has performed under their envelope and it has not performed in accordance with this roadmap that I've told you about. Guys, this is the theoretical situation, okay? It's a theoretical situation in that we run it through the compounding interest calculator and it gives you credit for an 8% rate of return every single year. Now, we all know that on an average, a well-balanced portfolio is probably going to return you back 8% over the course of an investor's life, okay? That part of it is true, all right? But what people miss so often is that if you're going out there and you're starting the brokerage account to fill that brokerage account, the Robin Hood or the Stash, with all of these assets in here that's going to somehow magically get you to this millionaire level, Guys, you're not going to make it. You are not going to make it because you have severely underestimated the impact, number one, from taxes, okay? Because remember how I told you in this scenario you've made $800,000 of compounding interest? You don't think for a second that the government is going to come and take their piece when you look to take withdrawals on that money because I don't know about you guys, but if I'm going to make a million dollars... <clears throat> I'd like to use it someday. I'd like to actually use it. Okay? So the tax man's going to come into this situation and they're going to tax this scenario because you have not tax protected that money within your Robin Hood account. Now you've saved $5 on your trading transactions. Okay? Now that's, that's why you got into it. It's the best thing going, right? But you made the decision to start that account and did not 
you severely underestimated the impact of the tax later on in life. Now Robin Hood can be a really, really good thing for those folks that take the introductory steps to make sure that their self-managed Roth IRA or their self-managed traditional IRA are in place and you're able to fund those accounts without any problem, $5,500 for a single, $11,000 for a married couple. Put that aside. Now those are the folks that I'd like to speak to. If that's what you want to do and go start a Robin Hood account, go ahead. But so many people out there get caught up in the prestige and they invest in the wrong order. They invest in the wrong order. And they see videos like this, how to become a millionaire with just $5 a day. And all they do is focus on the $5 a day. They do not focus on the tax situation that they're going to put themselves in in the future, right, where the IRS comes in and they're going to take their money at the effective tax rate. That's just how it is, guys. Or they get so excited about making a million dollars with just five dollars a day that they go and they're going to go with an established financial institution and they severely underestimate the impact of fees within those accounts. Guys, in both scenarios, the taxes are going to take you back from seven figures back down to six figures. You're not going to be a millionaire anymore. You're going to have to pay the tax man, okay? You're going to have to pay those management fees. The unfortunate part about the management fees is you don't pay them all at once. They bleed you year in and year out, so you really don't understand the impacts of those fees until you get into retirement and you look back over it and say, wow, I should have been here and I'm only here. Why? It's because of fees. How do we avoid this situation? Is it possible to become a millionaire with $5 a day? For those of you that tune into the Independent Investor Channel, I put you in one account and one account only. And that's because the majority of the people out there have no business in a brokerage account. They have no business starting a Robin Hood account. Guys, if you want to start a Robin Hood account for fun, by all means, okay? Investing to me is not a joking manner, okay? It's not. It's a very serious topic. And it's something that if I'm going to put information out there, I'm going to put information out there to set you guys up in the very best way possible. And I think there might be a time and a place for Robin Hood, but it's not for everybody. And it's certainly not for people who are just starting out in the market. If you're looking to start out in the market and you're actually interested in becoming a millionaire with $5 a day, I've just shown you how to do it. Now take this 50 year scenario, all right? and put yourself in a well-diversified portfolio, a self-managed Roth IRA, where you're not going to charge yourself a dime for the services rendered. You're going to put quality, long-term, passive investments within those accounts, second of which, when you reach 59 and a half, this $1,077,000, you can go have them write you a check at 59 and a half. The IRS cannot touch one dime of it, not one dime. And this is the big takeaway and the single most important message from the Independent Investor Channel is that the impact on your money tomorrow is going to be solely a result of the decisions that you make today. Guys, do not get caught up in the emotion of investing, all right? Making money is fun, okay? But let's do it calculatively and I contend let's do it correctly. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to this version of how to become a millionaire with $5 a day. I hope it's dispelled a lot of notions for you, and I also hope that it's actually answered a lot of questions. I hope it's opened your eyes to the powers of self-managed investing and what that means to you over the long term. Guys, we're in it for the long term, and we're in to keep everything ourselves. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button to support the channel, get notified of any future videos that I put online. If you know anybody that's young and looking to get into investing, share this link with them. Let them tune in to my message. Share the link with anybody that you know. Hit the thumbs up button. Please leave your commentary at the bottom. If I've struck some curiosity 
um, with regard to the topics that I've talked about during this video, please leave your commentary at the bottom. I'm very interested in hearing uh, all those commentaries as I do return all those uh, commentaries myself. And finally, if you have any topics for me that you'd like me to address on the Independent Investor Channel, please hit me up. I'd be glad to, to put those in the form of a video for you. And just in closing, I hope you've got everything that you need to be critical of this particular scenario. Because done correctly, at $5 a day, you can become a millionaire. But you have to do it in the right account, guys. You have to. Thank you for tuning in. And good luck in your investment future.